Hey everybody, this is Russ from Retro Game Course. So believe it or not, we reached 200,000 subscribers today on this little channel. And if you had asked me two years ago when I first started the channel whether or not I think it would have this much growth, I would have said absolutely not. At the time of starting the channel, I rarely even used YouTube myself, so it was completely uncharted territory. But I've been having a lot of fun just figuring out how this whole video thing works and just kind of playing it by ear. Now, last year when I first reached 100,000 subscribers, my family and I made the decision to try to go and do YouTube full time. I mentioned in that video that I have been active duty military for the US Navy for the past 22 plus years. Well, obviously I'm no longer in the Navy with this beard here. It's been about three months now that I've been doing YouTube full time and it's been really fun. I finally had the opportunity to do some deep dives into material that I just couldn't cover when I was doing this part time. And I've got quite a few plans in the hopper as well, so I'm looking forward to showing those off too. And I think today is a great opportunity to show off one of the things I've been working on, which is this studio here. In addition to this little couch right here, I've made a couple other sets as well, just to kind of help me when it comes to video production and then also creating the content in the first place. I've mentioned it before, but I used to be a food blogger as well as a cookbook author, and so I spent a lot of time doing food photography back then. And yeah, some of those skills do carry over, but at the same time, video is a completely new format. Now, before we actually start the video, I just wanna take a second and thank everyone for your support over these past couple years. You know, when I first started the channel, it was literally just to create tutorials. And honestly, not a lot of that has changed. I still make guides and tutorials as my primary focus when creating content. But I've also been able to expand to things like device reviews and mini PCs, and now the new charity store that I started up last week. None of that would have been possible without the viewership and support of you. And so in short, thank you very much for your support and viewership over the past two years. And I'm really looking forward to where we're going to go next. Anyway, before I start getting all sappy and stuff like that, let's start the video. So take it away. Okay, to start, let's do a quick clarification. The green mat that I typically use for most of my videos is not going anywhere. The purpose of this studio here is to really help when it comes to some of those other shots that just don't make sense with my green mat. And so while you're gonna see the couch shots here and then some of the workspace sections as well, the majority of what you're gonna find is still gonna be on my green mat at my regular desk. Now in terms of this couch shot right here, this is actually a love seat and not a real couch. We found that a real couch was just gonna take up too much space in the studio. The pictures on the wall I got on Etsy, same thing here with the pillows. And I got several different pillows here that I'll swap out depending on my mood as I'm filming. My whole point here was just to try to have like a nice clean and inviting environment for my intro shots. Now beyond this couch right here, there is more along this wall. And so I'm gonna pan the camera over here so you can get a better idea of what we have on the left. And as you can see, I built a little bit of a gaming station here with these cube organizers, and I also have an arcade on the far left. Let me move my light here for a second so you can get a better look. So now let's take a look at some of these things we have here on the left. Starting with the top shelf, I have a CRT television that I bought from somebody locally. There's a guy here who refreshes CRT televisions and then sells them specifically for gaming on Facebook Marketplace. Currently, I have the Steam Deck plugged into the CRT TV, and then I've got my PS2, GameCube, and then my childhood NES. And speaking of NES, I have built up quite a good collection of cartridges over the past six months or so. About 25% of these games I had from my childhood, and then the rest I've bought online or through local swap meets. I also have this little Halo Funko Pop right here because this was my rank when I was in the Navy, I was a Master Chief. But yeah, I'm really happy with the NES collection that I have so far, and I think it's about complete. In the center, we have my 8-bit Do arcade stick, and then a Wii U and a Wii. I do plan on making videos about these two consoles here in the future and to show you how to jailbreak them if you're interested. The bins themselves are storage for those additional pillows, and then I also have some controllers and my Xbox 360. On the left side, I have my old Super Nintendo system and then also a Sega Genesis that I picked up recently. And I don't have a ton of Super Nintendo games, so they're not really showing off on display here, but I did leave all of my Genesis games, as you can see. I'm also a huge fan of the Bioshock series, so I got this little Funko Pop right here too. Up top, we have the PS2 and GameCube, and I also plan on doing modding videos for those in the future. And where the Steam Deck sits, I eventually plan on getting a Mister and putting it right there. That way I can play all my favorite retro games on that CRT television without having to put additional wear and tear on my cartridges. But yeah, for now, this is my humble little gaming center right here. We've been having a lot of fun putting it together and playing some of these old games. Now to the left of that, I plan on making an arcade station. Right now, we're kind of in the beginning stages. I've bought two different arcade cabinets and have only put together one of them. And these are both from Arcade 1UP and I got them on sale for about 
about $400 each. My kids love playing the Marvel vs. Capcom one. They're just kind of button mashers, but they're having a lot of fun with it. And the Ridge Racer one will be a work in progress. And so my plan for each of these is to swap out to some higher end components and then also change the internals as well. So this cabinet here will probably be my all around arcade machine. I'll leave it with a six button layout, but then probably install Botticera. I also plan on giving it an upgraded screen and then also changing out some of the design as well. Now I like the Marvel vs. Capcom design overall. I think it's bright and colorful and kind of a little bit busy as well. And so I don't plan on changing that design here on the sides. I actually really like it. But I do look forward to making some videos about how to actually upgrade an arcade one up to better suit our needs. And then for the Ridge Racer one, I plan on doing the same, but to focus it specifically on racing games. That way we can play all our driving games on one cabinet and then all the other games on the other. Anyway, if you have any advice about how to get these up and running, let me know because I'm learning as I go. But yeah, this is one of the two walls that I have here in the studio. I have my couch, my gaming setup, and then the eventual arcade. So now let's move over to the wall here on the other side of the room. You're probably familiar with the workstation on the right here. I've been using this table for some of my 3D imagery for the past couple months. I like to use this space when I'm testing something that's a little bit too large for my top-down setup on the green mat. And so I think anytime I want to give a demonstration of a size or a height of a device, I'm probably going to use this setup here. Now the monitor I'm using is nothing special. It is a 24 inch from Asus. It only goes to 1080p, but it has a high refresh rate and also has speakers, which is really great for capturing audio. On the left side here, I have some additional storage as well as some displays for some of my favorite handhelds. I've also got a couple Lego pieces that my kids put together, so it's kind of cool to show those off as well. As far as the handhelds go, I've been kind of rotating these depending on how I feel, but it's been really nice to have just a smattering of handhelds available if I need to do size comparisons or something similar. On the far left here is my small audio receiver, which is hooked into some bookshelf speakers that are within the cabinet. On the wall, you can see I have a deconstructed Game Boy Color from repurposed parts, and then I have this fun little Mario 3 display case that I got from Etsy. And if you're interested in any of these things, I'll try to leave links to them in the video description. Within the storage itself, you can see I have my two bookshelf speakers and then a bunch of vinyl records and some additional storage. On the left side, we have my studio desk. So this isn't my primary desk, which is the one with the green mat, but the one that I use when I'm here in the studio. On the left, you can see my MacBook, which I transfer between the two rooms, and then also the Nintendo Switch OLED edition in case I want to play some games. And so in this space, what I typically will do is check the video footage that I've been testing, as well as doing some light video editing if I need it. And I've also found that having a separate workstation away from my typical desk does make me a little bit more productive too, because I can just focus on work while I'm here. Now behind the monitor, I do have a Windows PC. This is a Minis Forum TH50 that I have mounted by the Visa bracket. And so I can alternate between Windows and Mac as needed, depending on what I'm working on. And this is the exact same dining room table that I'm using for the workstation on the far right. I've also attached a boom arm with a phone mount here on the left. This allows me to make some quick video footage with my phone in case I need to do it right then and there. So it's a nice alternative to the green matte top-down display that I typically will use in my videos. And one last note here, right here in the center, I do plan on putting a turntable, but I haven't figured out which one to buy yet. And so if you have any suggestions for a turntable here in the center, let me know in the comments below. It's the one final piece of equipment that I wanna pick up before I can say that the studio is complete. And so anyway, yeah, that's really about it for the studio tour here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a glimpse in what I've been working on and some of the things I have planned in the future. I'm still amazed that there are 200,000 subscribers on this little channel and that you've all decided to join me on the way to figuring out how to play our favorite retro games. And so cheers to you with my little kombucha here and we will see you next time. Happy gaming.